So a supposed comet is catching the attention of some of the nation's most renowned scientists. Our solar system just had a guest from deep space. Minutes ago, it suddenly accelerated, moving as if on its own. It was expected to act like a normal comet, but as it passed the orbit of Mars, it suddenly hit the gas. The object accelerated without any visible reason, a move that should be impossible. This anomaly has reignited a fierce debate with Harvard physicist Avi Loeb at the center, who argues these visitors are not what they seem. It doesn't look like a very common thing, and we've never seen such a thing. A comet doesn't have glow in front of it. We're going to look at the data, explore Loeb's mind-bending theory, and uncover what 3i Atlas did next. A sequence of events that has left the scientific community absolutely stunned. A celestial mystery begins. As 3i Atlas hurtled through the void at over 58,000 miles per hour, astronomers at facilities like the Atlas Survey in Hawaii and the ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter tracked its path with precision. Everything seemed normal. It crossed the orbital path of Jupiter, then Mars. And that's when the story takes a wild turn. Computers monitoring its trajectory flagged a deviation. It was small but unmistakable. 3i Atlas was moving faster than it should have been. It had accelerated. This wasn't a gentle nudge. It was a noticeable burst of speed with no apparent cause. There was no gravitational assist from a nearby planet, no cosmic collision. It just sped up. This is the kind of anomaly that gives astronomers sleepless nights. An object can't simply generate its own thrust. To put it mildly, this was a massive red flag. The news sent ripples through the scientific community, but it was a loud alarm bell for one man in particular, Avi Loeb. The former chair of Harvard's astronomy department, Loeb is a brilliant but controversial figure, famous for his assertion that our first interstellar visitor, Oumuamua, was not a natural object, but a piece of alien technology. His theory was dismissed by many as sensationalism. But now, here was a second interstellar visitor exhibiting similarly strange non-gravitational acceleration. For Loeb and his supporters, it was a stunning vindication. Get this, the odds of two consecutive interstellar visitors behaving so weirdly were astronomical. The mainstream scientific community scrambled to find a conventional explanation. You see, they had to. The alternative was just too paradigm-shattering to consider. They proposed that what they were seeing was the result of outgassing, Jets of vaporizing ice acting like tiny rocket engines. It's a common phenomenon for comets. But the thing nobody tells you is that 3i Atlas was still more than 250 million miles from the sun, far too cold for water ice to sublimate with enough force to cause such a change in speed. Something else had to be at play. The mystery deepened as the James Webb Space Telescope turned its powerful eye on the object and what it found only made the puzzle more baffling. The impossible acceleration was just the beginning of its bizarre performance. What science says pushed it. In the world of science, extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. So when an object like 3i Atlas defies the laws of orbital mechanics, the first step isn't to jump to conclusions about alien engines, but to exhaust every possible natural explanation. The leading theory for its bizarre acceleration was, and remains, outgassing. But this couldn't be simple water ice. For an object so far from the sun, the heat just isn't intense enough. Here's the kicker. Data from the James Webb Space Telescope provided a crucial clue. Spectroscopic analysis, which breaks down the light from the comet to read its chemical signature, revealed that 3i Atlas was surrounded by a massive coma, a fuzzy atmosphere of gas and dust. What was truly stunning was the composition of this coma. It was overwhelmingly rich in carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide. These substances are known as hypervolatiles. Unlike water ice, which needs temperatures to rise to around minus 100 degrees Fahrenheit to turn to gas, carbon dioxide ice can sublimate at a frigid minus 200 degrees Fahrenheit. This meant 3i Atlas didn't need the intense heat of the inner solar system to spring to life. As sunlight, even the faint sunlight near Mars's orbit, warmed its surface, pockets of frozen CO2 buried just beneath the crust could have erupted in powerful, invisible jets. 
For all intents and purposes, these jets would act like thrusters, pushing the comet and causing the exact kind of non-gravitational acceleration that was observed. It's a neat and tidy explanation that fits within our known laws of physics. Many people are crazy about this theory because it feels safe. This chemical profile also tells a fascinating story about where 3 I Atlas came from. Comets in our own solar system are primarily water-based. A comet dominated by carbon dioxide suggests it was born in an extremely cold environment, likely in the far outer reaches of its home star system, a place far colder than our own Kuiper belt. This visitor was a frozen relic from a truly alien environment, carrying with it the chemical fingerprints of its birthplace. Scientists calculated that to achieve the observed acceleration, the comet would need to expel roughly 2,200 pounds of gas every second. While that sounds like a lot, for a comet nucleus potentially several miles wide, it's entirely plausible. The object was essentially a cosmic pressure cooker, and as it warmed up, it started venting steam, or in this case, carbon dioxide gas. But not all things are what they seem, and this clean explanation had some holes in it. The biggest issue? The jets were completely invisible. No telescope could see them. The thrust was inferred, not observed. Avi Loeb pounced on this. He argued that to produce the acceleration scene, the outgassing would have to be highly focused, like a rocket nozzle, not a diffuse cloud. And there was another, even more troubling problem. As it continued its journey, the comet did something else. Something that even the hypervolatile gas theory struggled to explain. What it did next cast serious doubt on the official story. Loeb's controversial claim. The elephant in the room for many astronomers was Avi Loeb. While most of his colleagues were busy modeling sublimation jets of carbon dioxide, Loeb was asking a different set of questions. What if there were no jets? What if the acceleration was perfectly controlled? What if 3i Atlas, like Oumuamua before it wasn't a comet at all, but an artifact of an extraterrestrial civilization? To Loeb, the mainstream explanation felt like an attempt to force a round peg into a square hole. He pointed out that there was no direct evidence of outgassing. The jets were a hypothesis, an invention to make the data fit the theory. The acceleration was real, but the cause was assumed. What many overlooked in his view was the pattern. One interstellar object acting weird could be a fluke. Two in a row was a message. Loeb proposed a mind-bending alternative. He suggested that 3i Atlas could be an incredibly thin piece of technology, a light sail. A light sail is a theoretical spacecraft propelled by the pressure of sunlight itself. Photons, though massless, carry momentum. Over a large, ultra-thin, reflective surface, this momentum can build up to create a gentle but continuous acceleration. A sail, just a fraction of a millimeter thick, could be pushed by the sun's rays, explaining the speed boost without any outgassing at all. Get this, such a structure would be almost impossible to distinguish from a small, rocky object from millions of miles away. It would appear as a simple point of light. The composition readings from the James Webb Space Telescope, Loeb argued they could be explained by a thin layer of cosmic dust coating the surface of the object after millions of years of travel. This theory ties directly to Avi Loeb's earlier work on Oumuamua, that strange interstellar visitor that baffled astronomers when it appeared in our solar system. Like 3i Atlas, Oumuamua had an odd, elongated shape, long and thin, and it moved in ways that didn't match any natural comet or asteroid we'd ever observed. It accelerated without producing a visible coma, the cloud of gas and dust we normally see when a comet nears the sun. For Loeb, these anomalies aren't just curiosities, they are clues pointing to a much bigger picture. He believes we should consider the possibility that advanced civilizations exist in our galaxy and that their technology might be quietly traveling among the stars. To assume that humanity is the only intelligent life is, in his view, a kind of arrogance, a blind spot that prevents us from seeing the extraordinary for what it might be. Loeb has called for a more open-minded approach, one that looks for techno-signatures, evidence of artificial technology beyond Earth. His Galileo project was created specifically for this mission, a systematic search for extraterrestrial artifacts, not through speculation, but through rigorous scientific observation. 
3 i Atlas quickly became the second entry in his growing case file. It defied the rules of natural physics, accelerating as if pushed by forces beyond what ordinary cometary physics could explain. But then the comet, or whatever it truly was, performed its most baffling act, the one that should have been impossible. As it raced toward the sun, instead of breaking apart from heat or venting gas in a predictable manner, it behaved in a way that left astronomers scratching their heads. Its brightness dimmed unexpectedly, its trajectory hinted at some form of self-adjustment, and every observation seemed to challenge everything we thought we knew about comets. The more scientists studied it, the clearer it became. 3i Atlas might not just be a rock in space, it could be a signal, subtle but undeniable, that the galaxy is far more alive and strange than we have dared to imagine. Its next move would either prove or shatter Loeb's theory forever. A mystery deepens or a question answered. The moment of truth for 3i Atlas was its perihelion, its closest approach to the sun. On October 29, 2025, the interstellar visitor looped around our star at a distance of just under 50 million miles. At this range, it was subjected to unimaginable forces. The sun's gravitational pull was immense, and its surface was blasted by solar radiation with temperatures reaching over 700 degrees Fahrenheit. For any comet, this is the most dangerous part of the journey. The intense heat should have triggered a spectacular display of outgassing, creating a brilliant tail visible across the solar system. Or the thermal and gravitational stress should have torn the fragile object apart, causing it to disintegrate into a cloud of ice and dust. Both scenarios were predicted. Neither one happened. In a stunning turn of events that baffled everyone, 3i Atlas did the one thing that seemed impossible. It held together. It remained perfectly intact. But here's the kicker, it also dimmed significantly. The massive coma of carbon dioxide that surrounded it simply vanished. It was as if someone had flipped a switch, turning off the jets. The object that had been so active near Mars suddenly went quiet, right when it should have been at its most violent. This was a whole new ball game. The mainstream outgassing theory was in trouble. If the acceleration was caused by sublimating CO2, the activity should have skyrocketed at perihelion, not ceased. The object should have become a brilliant spectacle, but instead it became a ghost. For Avi Loeb, this was the smoking gun. Nothing in our natural cosmic neighborhood behaves like this. A comet made of ice and rock wouldn't suddenly accelerate as it passed through the inner solar system. It wouldn't seemingly defy gravity's pull, performing maneuvers that suggest calculation instead of chaos. But a piece of technology, now that could. Imagine a light sail glimmering faintly as it drifts through space, capable of reorienting itself in precise alignment, turning its edge toward the sun to reduce solar pressure, executing a tight cosmic turn. From our vantage point, this would make its brightness suddenly plummet, as though it had vanished into the void. Picture a probe, an alien emissary of intelligence, having completed its reconnaissance of our solar system, deciding to shut down its instruments to conserve precious energy for the long, lonely voyage ahead. It would dim, vanish from view, and leave no trace, except the baffling trajectory it had carved through the heavens. What struck Loeb was how inconsistent this object was with any known natural explanation. Comets drift. They heat, they glow, they shed gas and dust in predictable patterns. But this object accelerated when it shouldn't, went dark when it should have been brightest, and behaved with a precision that suggested intention rather than happenstance. Every calculation, every observation hinted at an intelligence behind the movement. The more astronomers studied it, the more the evidence seemed to point away from chance and toward design. And then came the existential shock as 3i Atlas began its long, unending journey out of our solar system, it left us with questions far larger than itself. What kind of civilization could build such a craft? How advanced must the technology be to survive interstellar space, to anticipate cosmic pressures and adjust accordingly? It was a visitor from the stars, but unlike anything humanity had ever encountered, a ghostly messenger that carried with it not answers, but a challenge to rethink the boundaries of the natural and the artificial, to confront the possibility that intelligence exists elsewhere, silently observing and now briefly revealed. 
As it receded into the void, 3i Atlas didn't just leave our solar system, it left a profound and unsettling puzzle, a whisper of something far greater than ourselves lingering in the cold light of the cosmos. 3i Atlas arrived as a mystery and left as an enigma. Its impossible journey challenged our science and fueled one of the most controversial theories of our time. Was it a natural wonder or was Avi Loeb right? Are we ignoring evidence of visitors in our own cosmic backyard? If you enjoyed this journey into the unknown, be sure to hit like and subscribe for more cosmic mysteries.